At the Market is sponsored by Fifth Third Bank, The Curious Bank, by St. John's Providence River District Hospital, Waste Management, Think Green, and St. Clair County Community Mental Health. At the Market is videotaped for a live audience at Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. Welcome to another edition of At The Market with Brian Neiman and S. We are at the market. Neiman's Market over here on Kearney Drive in St. Clair. Every uh, Wednesday at 3.30, except for today, we moved it up a little bit to 3. We bring you At The Market with all kinds of great local restaurants and fun stuff. But today, we're going to take you outside the box and we are going to make fresh mozzarella. And I am joined by Grace and Dave from Neil Sales and Marketing. Yep. And thank you very much for coming out today. Oh, you're awesome. But this is kind of a, actually a program that we're working to develop here at Neiman's yes. to make fresh mozzarella. Because you always go to the store and you buy it, how it, right. you know, wherever oh, you yeah. get it. So, but we're going to try to, and we're going to make it right here today. Sure. We're going to show people how to make it. And I'm actually going to even try. So, yes. <laughs> we're going to sell that. We're just going to kind of put that to the side. We'll sell what these guys make. And uh, maybe it won't be so hard. So, um, thank you for joining us. You're so, welcome. what do we do? How do we get started? Well, you get started is um, boil some water, bring okay. it to your boiling point. I can do that. Okay. Check. Now <laughs> you have a measuring cup. We have one of those. Okay. You have your curds. You start okay. off with a 20 pound block. You slice it up in about two pound piece. Two and, pound piece. And then you cube it up like we have. Okay. Now the next process is you take your measuring cup. The main thing is you take your bowl and you swirl it and you turn, put the water around the bowl. Never in the middle, because okay. you will shock it, and it will not work for you. Nobody likes shock cheese. So no. we're going to so let you... real tough to stretch yes. that way. And yeah. then after that, stretch. we're going to empty the one bath. Okay. And then you just use your spoon. Oops. Right. And my glove. <laughs> yep. Put your gloves on. Okay. And drain it. Then you're going to repeat that process for the second bath. Wow. <laughs> okay. You have a lot to do here. Today. Yeah. I didn't know that was my job. I mean, usually I just... All right. Stand there, they make something really good, I eat it, well, and then we today. go home. But that looks really good, so I'm excited about that. So, so. then you empty it again. The second process is you're going to just work it and stir it, and it's going to look like it's melting through. Okay. You're going to take it, and you use the, this part of the wooden spoon. And the higher you go... Usually that's the part my mom held on to as she hit us. <laughs> so I didn't, know, I didn't know that was other thing. Not today. Not today. Yeah, really. yeah. Scary. So the higher you go, the smoother it falls. And the smoother tasting it will be for the customers. Okay. Okay? Well... That's all. <laughs> okay. He says okay like this is... Like we're making ice cubes. Okay. Here's your hot water to start. <laughs> oh my God. Really are... Elizabeth, all right, but do I, I don't need this, you right? You don't need no. that right now. I mean, put that so down. I'm going to start it on the side, right? Yeah, just all put the it on the side and, and give that. And just spin it. There you go. Twirl. You are a natural. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now you got to make sure it covers it all up, so it's about two of those uh, measuring cups. Okay. Because we're not, we don't want to shock it, right? No, you don't want to shock it. Go back a little bit, Brian. Go back. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm just looking to put it over top of that, That's right? That's right. I'm nervous, you know, I don't know. You got you're me all. You're doing a great doing, job, Brian. You are a natural. Doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. you're just saying now that. Now you go get some more water. Okay. And continue this. Yep, right. just uh, bring it up just above now, the level of the curd. Does it, this, I, I'm obviously going slow. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's do, right. Can I do, do, should I do, is that? Speed, does it matter? Or? No. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. You can pour quicker, too, if you want, as long as it okay. doesn't hit directly onto, onto the curd. You don't want yeah. to hit the curd. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to shock it. Okay. You're going to just warm it up a little bit. Okay. The water's hot. Is that? Yeah. That's good. It's supposed to be between 165 and 180 degrees. Okay. It's a facial. So. It's a facial. <laughs> How about that? So do okay. I need a little one, more, you one, think? Probably one more cup. Yep. Yeah, okay. one more. would be perfect. So now when somebody buy, they can buy, we're going to have the curds here at the store for somebody sure. to buy this. And you also have directions you can give okay. to the customers how to make it at home. Yep. 
Gotcha. So they, when they come in, they'll be asking, hey, how did they? Right. It, looked like, it, looked, it even looked like Brian knew what he was doing, so <laughs> they'll know. All right. Pretty easy to do. Okay. All right. Is that good? Or a little good. more? Yeah. Now you take the, the back end, right? the, the hitting end, and right? And you just okay. stir it. Stir it like this. Just very slowly. So see how it's breaking down? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. So now you're ready to dump the water. Okay, so now I dump the water. Okay, right into that bowl next to Dave. All right, Dave, here comes the hot water. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now you're going to give it another bath like you just did. You're repeating the process. With the hot water again? Yes. Yep. All right. So... You even left yourself a little gap there so you can. Oh, yeah, Dave, I have a, I'm pretending quicker. not to know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're He's doing a great natural. job. He's <laughs> yeah, that's job. right. A natural. <laughs> you are a natural. Know. I don't know about that. You guys must have another sales meeting after this I'm <laughs> sure to attend. <laughs> the, there's some other type of product they want me to carry here. I can feel it coming. <laughs> Just don't know what it is yet. Oh, look what a great job he did. Don't eat the mozzarella. <laughs> I got you. Uh, we would never more? do that to you, Brian. Do you want any more, do you think? Yeah. Do I have to yeah. cover it again? Yeah. Okay. Let's cover it up. All right. Gotcha. Look at that, I'm even speeding up a little bit. Oh yeah, you're really yeah. getting it down now. Yeah, you're down yeah. pat. Yeah, yeah. I've been called the natural at this. Yeah. <laughs> nat Do we have any music, the natural? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. We yeah. need some Italian music to go with this. <laughs> yeah. oh, here that's we go, here we go. <laughs> Actually, every time I cook, it's more like <laughs> Bring out the big top. <laughs> exactly, the only thing this circus needs is a tent. <laughs> All right. All right, All right that good. looks good. Now you're going to stir it a little bit. Stir it a little bit. Oh, oh now it's starting to look like mozzarella. Oh, now, that. Ryan, you're going to take it and go up. up. Right in the middle of the clump and the, just, just keep let gravity do its thing. Oh. Look at that. The finer it gets, the smoother, the smoother tasting. it's going to be? Okay. Yes. You just keep doing the process. So I do it again? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you'll repeat that process until we get all those clumps out okay. of there. That. Look at that. Oh. You got a good look. You are a natural. You are. <laughs> yeah. I Googled how to make mozzarella before I got here. I'll oh, is that what you <laughs> No, I didn't. No, I did not. I did not. Oh, no, it's looking good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. looking beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. You say that to all the guys you make mozzarella with. <laughs> I know it. Terrific. <laughs> Oh my See goodness. See how smooth that is? Right. Now, can you do, do you want to pull it or you just want to let gravity do it? No, nope, you let gravity okay. do its work. Gotcha. Yeah. You're almost ready. Yeah? You are. Ooh. Now the next process he's going to do is make the actual ball. And okay. in that bowl there, now you it's have... Now it's stripping a little yep, bit, is that it's, right? it's ready. Okay, it's ready? Yeah. So now that water has a little, about a teaspoon of salt, okay. very mild. A little, you just don't a little want, kosher salt It's in. already put okay. in because you don't want it to be too powerful because when they go home and they fix it like we did there, right. they add their own okay. ingredients. Gotcha. And, okay. okay. Now, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do the you first. Tell me. How's that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. What you do, you're working the like you do dough. Okay. You're, like you need to, dough. You start working it. You start kneading it. Uh-huh. Look at that. Then it's kneading. It's a term I've picked up on your show. <laughs> so now, put it right through your, right there. Uh-huh. You have your mozzarella ball. Ah. So, Brian, you're going to do that. There and that's go. how you make your fresh mozzarella. And then we'll put it in the cold, cold? water with a okay. dash of salt so it'll with firm it? up and you can cut it and it'll be ready to go. All right. And you can make any size. You can make logs. You can make cherry size, large. Okay. Um, you can do anything really what you want to do with it, different sizes. Um, so now I'm pushing yeah, it through here. Right there. You got it. Just oh like my you used God, to do are you a natural? Balloon. Right? Right. He didn't even need us here. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then, then pinch it off. Pinch it off. Yep. Okay. Look and at then that. And kind of reform oh. it into a ball. Ooh. 
Perfect. I would say yours was a little bit better. I no, it was you great. You did an awesome that's, uh, job. And that's that, huh? Yeah, it's, that's how you make, make fresh mo mozzarella. So, like you said, you can make little ones. Right, you can make little cherry size that, yeah, that we've we get to make pearls all over there. pearls you know, for the salad. already made for salads. So, mozzarella, how did, where, where did it start? I mean, who, I mean, obviously somebody said, let's take curd and make this out of it. Who was, I mean, how does that, how does that well, work? Well, Belgium also is number one world. America's uh, number one fresh mozzarella, mozzarella. company. This yeah. company right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Our, our yeah, Belgium also. Yeah. Well, that's not very good there, that little. Okay. That's going to be for a salad that nobody right. knows. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, all right, what else can a customer do with this sort of stuff? I see you've, we've got some cool yeah. stuff over there. Why don't you Grace grab it? Grace is the salad maker. She, she does a great job on the stuff. salads. Well, here what we did, this is the actual mozzarella balls that Brian's making that he's so good at right now. And what we did, we wrapped it in a wrap. So... Um, and then we tie it so they can sell it at, for retail. They can put it in their deli Perfect. counter or in the retail. This is uh, skewers, the cherry size that uh, Brian just tried to make. That's these right. here. She said tomato. try. Yes, you didn't hear her wrong. She said try. <laughs> and that's okay. I understand. <laughs> that's right. And there's some red peppers, green peppers, uh, cherry tomatoes, onions, and basil. And this is uh, a fresh Italian, um, it's pearls. They're called pearls, the, that size. It has green peppers, it has um, asparagus, it has uh, um, extra virgin olive oil, salt, salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of balsamic white vinegar. You don't want to use the dark, because it turns dark, it's not very appealing. This is our sliced tomato and uh, basil that you can serve to your, um, if you're having a party on a platter with basil, sliced tomato, and that is the log that you can slice and put on a tray. Different things you could do. You could also get it here in uh, Neiman's too. They're yeah. gonna have it in their deli. Now, I've seen some with um, prosciutto wrapped. Yes. When would you do that process? Now, mm -hmm. now before you before form it. Before you form it, you, get, yeah. you, you lay it out and then wrap it right. in there? Right. Gotcha. It's just different things you can do with it. That Look work? at that. Perfect. Now, it, 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 now it's a little it's okay. bit. Is just that close right? it up some just more. Close it up a little yep. bit tighter. And just pour it. My first time. Oh no, you're doing doing fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Just a tighter pinch there, you know. Oh, at the bottom gotcha. So you close that. that up. That's just getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Neil's sales and marketing. Let the customers, I mean, they don't recognize you daily in the store like this, but what do you guys do? A well, bit about yourselves. Near sales and marketing is from Farmington, and uh, we have an office in Grand Rapids also, and um, we represent over 100 different manufacturers, and okay. Belgioso is one of our best. Okay. Um, they're the best of the best as far as cheese goes. So, okay. um, so we go in and try and present the product to uh, customers like yourself uh -huh. to uh, show you what we have and how uh, the, your customers can benefit Good. from it. So, um. Good deal. Well, thank you guys very, very much You're welcome well, for thanks. having us out. Thanks this for letting sorry. us come in and uh, do this. And this we is appreciate great. it. So you guys cut that off of there. We just kind of made it. Obviously, if I can make it, we all know just about anybody can do it. So, I mean, it's really cool. But we will actually be working on selling fresh made mozzarella right here in the store, not brought in. And so it's going to be a great program for us. Yep. And we really appreciate it. But thank you. Thank you. Very thank much. You. Thank Good you. Good having you. you in. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you. Thank you. Again. No, you right. too. <laughs> and we are going to be right back after this because we've got Catch 22 coming at us. See you in a bit. Challenge the clock. Challenge trends. Challenge gravity. Challenge expectations. Challenge world records. Challenge the culture. And the future. Challenge banking. We challenge ourselves to be curious about ideas that make banking better. We're Fifth Third Bank. The Curious Bank. Nurturing new opportunities is an ideal way to stimulate economic growth. 
As North America's leading environmental solutions company, waste management can help you rethink your resources from the ground up. By caring for your economic goals while cultivating your environmental ones, together we can produce some surprisingly green results. To learn more, go to thinkgreen.com. Welcome back, and we made the mozzarella. It tasted fantastic. It's a great opportunity to come down here and try it. So, but now I am really glad to welcome a new show or new restaurant to our show. Obviously, I got a little mozzarella going on. I'm still thinking how to make that, right? So, but we got Bill. Bill, what's uh, your last name again? How are I'm you? Sorry. Andriopoulos. Andriopoulos. Yes, nice okay. short Greek name. Easy to remember that one. So, anyways, <laughs> you are down at Catch 22 in Algonac. You and your dad and... My two brothers two, and my dad. No yep. kidding. Yep. Well, I got to tell you, if you haven't got down here, you got to go just to meet Bill's dad, Nick. He is... He's a character. He is something. He's, we had a lot of fun today. <laughs> I went down there for lunch, and he's, he's a neat guy. Been in the business a long time and all that. So yeah. um, tell Three us a little bit about the restaurant, how you ended up in Algonac, and how's it going? It's going fantastic. First of all, we've been. Uh, it's been a great reception. People love us. And we love them. Great. It sounds kind of corny, but when we actually went into the place, it kind of felt like coming home. Okay. That sounds kind of weird and corny, but it's it's the best way I can describe okay. it. Okay. It's got all the beautiful Chris Craft all mm -hmm. over the uh, all over the walls, so it's it's very very nice. And of course, it's across from the old Chris Craft factory, sure. which is now the Harbor Club. Okay. And uh, and you know, so it's got a lot of uh, a lot of history there. Right. And uh, we brought some. We changed a couple things. We made it uh, more of a restaurant. Okay. Really, a lot of what we know how to do. Uh, we have a place over on uh, 22 in Van Dyke in Shelby Township. It's called uh, Nick's 22nd Street Steakhouse. Okay. And uh, we've been there for 20 years. Oh, no kidding. And of course, with the with the downturn, you know that right. everyone felt and uh, we felt it as well. Yep. And uh, anymore now, we had to open another restaurant so we could make a living. So here <laughs> right. we are. <laughs> we we weren't making a living before, but now we're going to work we're twice as hard to make even less. Right? Yeah, you know yeah, that's just the way it is. I'm, you know, we're, we're <laughs> yeah. no different than anyone else in America right now. Right. So. We're trying to scrape a living over there, and it's been great over cool. over at uh, Catch Twenty Two. Great. So uh, we, uh, my chef Larry uh, yep. Torino, who's uh, who's well, one of the chefs that are there, and definitely the the head chef there. He's uh, the one who knew about uh, the uh, uh, the galley, is what it was called before right. for twenty seven years. Okay. They've had a great reputation. Mm -hmm. They've been yep. around a long time, and uh, he was uh, kind of getting a little wore out, ready to retire, and uh, lucky enough, he took us over there, and we went over there. We hit it off really well, and. Cool. He says, look, you guys are the guys for me to sell the place and keep the tradition going on. That's nice. And uh, his father, like my father, was a character, and he was there for years, uh -huh. and, you know, for so many years until he unfortunately passed away. And sure. uh, So we're uh, trying to keep on the tradition. Cool. Good deal. Well, I was out there. I had a great chicken sandwich. The soup was awesome. Thanks. Soup Thanks. was, it was a, a bisque, seafood bisque. Was, I, Soup's I was, made oh, every day. It's every, fresh yeah. every day. If there's anything left, it goes in the garbage. That's pretty much how we run the restaurants okay. in general. We try to do everything as fresh as possible, and it seems to be paying off pretty well. well we are making bacon wrapped scallops. Well, not right? bacon wrapped. Okay, citrus, I'm sorry. Citrus uh, uh, glazed scallops. Okay, citrus glazed. Well, I'll tell you, my wife <laughs> loves scallops more than anything else in this world. So Thanks. I am looking forward to this, Great. and we're going to get down there and try some. So go ahead. We're going to start with the okay. sauce. Well, we're going to start with the sauce, with the citrus sauce. So we're going to take a little bit of Marcella wine. Okay. And uh, as you, if you... I got nice and hot. Yeah, I did. It got really hot. If, if you go, <laughs> you want to turn it down a little bit? No, I think we're okay. Okay, it'll be all right. We'll put a little Grand Marnier in there as well. You can't so go. We're start with. You uh, can't go bad on a recipe that starts with booze <laughs> as the hey, first two you, ingredients. Man, we'll just right? you. you just can't go wrong there. So we're going to take this and we're going to reduce a little bit of uh, the. Uh, we use a uh, uh, Florio uh, fine marcella, fine marcella. Okay. and then a little bit of Grand Marnier. Okay. So at home, you're going to want to probably use two ounces of each, give or take, for four people. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to take a, uh, an orange, so take a whole orange, and then want to wash the outside because we don't know where that's been. <laughs> then you're going to take and you're going to zest about half of it. So I'll uh, do that really quick. And zesting is just is getting the... The you just skin. want to get the actual skin off of it. Okay. That's it. And, and what does that I'm, do to the recipe? What is that going to, I mean, people are like, well, why do I need the skin of it? Well, the skin gives it a little bit more of a flavor. Okay. Uh, the juice will give it flavor as well, but uh, the zest actually really intensifies it. Gotcha. Um, 
course, I, uh, I'm not a classically trained chef, so no. the actual... Well, uh, I'm not a classically trained host either, so this, uh, <laughs> this works out really so well. We're doing pretty good together, <laughs> yeah, then, right? That's right. You can't beat it, right. Yeah, let's see what my zester's doing here. It's not and it's not really, really a really zester to, that I would... It's more of a... Sh uh, I don't know what you... Whatever we had, we got you, so... We got it, so let's see what's going on here as I destroy the set here. See? Not a classically trained chef. No, it's definitely set, not. No. Yeah, so we got that zest. And what are some of the, well, your zest now, what are some of the things you got on the menu down there that you're known for? Well, we're really known for uh, pretty much everything. Nice. <laughs> we have, uh, uh, we just have a really nice diversified menu, something that you would have to drive quite a ways to get. Okay. And what we did is instead of having to drive down to, say, Chesterfield or the mall area, yep. what we've done is we've taken things that you would normally get there. Right. And we've put it in this community. Right. And I think a lot of people just hasn't, haven't given a lot of respect to the people in the community around here, thinking that maybe it's not a big enough community to, to survive doing things like that. Right. But quite frankly, we proved everyone wrong. And uh, of course, we put a really a restaurant that you would find around a mall area yep. in a small town, and it is doing great. That's and cool. people love it. And I, like I said, you know, uh, we love we love being. You know, I mean, for us, we, we ran down here for lunch from um, right out here in St. Clair. It took us, you know, 15 minutes to get down there. We had a great lunch. Came back, you know, and we had yeah. great service. You know, you you got the owners out there walking around talking to everybody, and that makes a big about. difference. Makes a huge difference. It makes a big so. difference because you don't have to drive an hour to go get something to eat. Right, and if you do drive or a half hour, hour or, or whatever, if you, you drive all that way, you're you're not going to see the owner. You're not going to know who is. You know, here I go to Catch Twenty Two. I know the guys. They you know they're out there goofing around, right. and you're getting great food, great service. It's Absolutely. a lot of fun. So good Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So we're just uh, we've reduced that a little bit. So we're okay. gonna. Put the zest in there now. And Boy, it just smells orangey like, oh, get oh, out. Yeah. It smells good. Well, you want to get a lot of the citrus there anyway okay. because obviously we're citrus uh, <laughs> right. scaled. So now what I'm going to put in here also is a cream sauce. It's, 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 what we use is what's called a, a supreme sauce, which is a, uh, is a thick cream sauce. You, okay. you at home can use a creamy chicken broth oh, okay. or a creamy chicken right. soup. Okay. So use a creamy chicken soup, and then I'm going to put a couple ladles of it in here. Uh -huh. But uh, with that, I want to say, see, I have a hard time kind of no, no, I, bringing yeah, it down right. to smaller portions. Right, right, because <laughs> so, you're, you're making it so big if you're go. doing two ounces of each of these, I would probably say maybe six to eight ounces of the, of the sauce. Of the sauce. You know what? Do four ounces of this sauce, and then you're going to want to uh, match it with a, uh, uh, with a sweet chili sauce. Okay. Now, this, we use the Maypoi. Is that Maypois? what it's called? Maypoi. I don't Maypois. know. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> So it's it's Maypois, and I think you can probably get it here at the store. Usually you can buy it pretty so, much yep. anywhere. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't think we have that brand, but we do have a. a yeah, chip, I mean yeah. it's made by so many different. Uh, yep. So many different. Oh, let's see if we can get this out. Yep. So we want to really kind of put the cream and the and the chili sauce okay. equal amounts of it, basically. Equal amounts of yeah. that. Okay. And we're just mixing that, and this is over a higher heat. Medium yeah, high you, know, high you high want heat. to go about medium heat because you don't okay. really want to, you know, you don't want to burn it. Okay, you know, gotcha. You want to be careful. You want to scorch it because that cream will 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 scorch. I okay. I would think you know if it's too hot. Um, and then we're going to take half of one of these oranges, which I don't have a knife. here. Not a problem. I think we, I think <laughs> we, we have a knife around. I'm sorry. I think we might have one here somewhere. <laughs> Usually Elizabeth is right on the ball here with her. That's uh, okay. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze it right out of here. So, so gonna okay, so you're going to get the juice out orange. of it? Orange, yeah, we're just going to squeeze the juice right out okay. of it. So really what you want to do is you want to take a half of orange, you want to cut that, that side, that, the side that you zest, you want to cut that okay. off, Okay. take that zested side is, and squeeze all the juice out of that zested okay. side. Now the other side you'll take and you'll put, um, you'll take that and slice it into a, a slice, cut, cut, slice it, it'll be a circle, cut half of it, and then just twist it and put it in the middle of the plate for okay. the orange gotcha. is, uh, is what you can really do. So we're going to kind of do this, which is... <laughs> Gotcha. We'll get rid of this. Yeah, that'd be great. So we'll here's a mix that right. Here's a net, couple oh, of nappings. Thank you for very that. much. Thank you. Here, oh, you want to set it right on? Um, you want to set it right there? Set it right on that oh. pan. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathy Pizzo. Yes. Hey, I love like it. Hey. All right. Thank you, Thank Kathy. you for right, Kathy it. Kathy stopped much. by and helped us today. <laughs> she is our shoe set chef. <laughs> it's short for Sue, but you got the short part of that. <laughs> Me all week, try the scalps. <laughs>
would say. So let's. Uh, we should probably take these down so we don't. Right. So we can make the she sauce. Co <laughs> she, she covered up what we were working on, but it's all good. There we yeah, go. Yeah, it works out fine. There we go. So we're gonna let this kind of cook up and reduce a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna. Then I'll show you how to plate. Great. And now, um, catch. What is catch twenty two? Okay. Here's the story of catch twenty two, <laughs> which is so perfect for our family. <laughs> of course, like most families, we all sit around and we argue back and forth, you know, three brothers and a dad. Yes. So, of course, yep. we're all guys. Yeah. And we all have our, we're all stubborn. And we all think we know everything, and, right? And you guys, so, and you, the only one had the so answer my name's you. better than yours. <laughs> right. And we're going at it with each other and we're just going back and forth. <laughs> and I want this name and he wants that name. And this thing, and we're all sitting there, the four of us in the banquet room over at the other restaurant. And, uh, and my... <laughs> And my brother turns and goes, no, I want this name. And my dad goes, listen, he goes, that's a great name, you guys, calm down. He goes, but it's kind of a catch-22. <laughs> and we all four of us looked at each other <laughs> yeah, and we're like, that's it. There it is. Yeah, that was it. That's how we came up with that name. Now, of that's course, awesome. we're 22nd Street Steakhouse over there. Okay, So sure. we wanted to incorporate the 22 sure. so somehow people can take, you know, it can relate that's to awesome. each other. That's awesome. That's a great that story. Great. That's yeah, that was pretty neat. Yep. And perfect. if you knew us a little better, you'd really think it was <laughs> yeah. perfect because it really is. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, sounds like the family meetings we have. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So we are going to, well, let me taste this really quick and make sure I didn't screw it up too much. Mm, this? That's good. No, that I'm not. great. No, so, I will not touch the hot fry pan. Sorry. Oh, that's great. So what you'll do at home is, is you want to take your scallops, and you want to use U10 scallops if you can, which are the little bit larger ones. Yep. If you do use frozen ones, let them thaw out first. Don't put okay. them in there frozen because they're going to be too much water. Right. So you'll take those U10s. You'll put, uh, for four people, I would say eight of them. Okay. Take those, put them in a, on a, uh, in a pan or on a, uh, something to roast it with. Okay. Put it in your oven at 550. Okay. You want to go about 10 minutes. Okay. That will get them nice. But cook them to whatever you like. Traditionally, people want scallops to be rare. But most people don't like rare scallops. Okay, right. Because <laughs> right. really, you know, they get a little nervous. Yeah, right? you know, they get a little nervous with the seafood undercooking yep. the seafood. Yep. So if you know, cook it to whatever temperature they'd like. If you like sure. it cooked through, go for that too as well. Okay. So after that, what you want to do is one, about ten minutes. Take them out, and we use our steak seasoning on the scallops. Okay. Now, if you don't have our steak seasoning, which you don't. I would maybe recommend Montreal Steak Seasoning is, okay. is a decent brand also. Sure. That's a very popular brand. People know it. Okay. It works pretty well. Just give it a little so bit of flavor. Give it a little bit of seasoning. That'll give okay. it a little bit of flavor. So you broil them up, pull them out of the oven. Okay. You take the sweet chili sauce. Yep. And you pour a little bit of sweet chili sauce over the top of them just to glaze them a little bit. Okay. And then turn the broil on on your, on your oven at home. Oh, okay. And you take that and you put it right underneath the broil. Right. And it'll, gla and it'll just caramelize that yeah. sweet chili sauce on top, right on of, top the of the scallops. Awesome. Now, we're not going to do that today because we don't have the broiler here. Right. But that's okay. Yep. And then, uh, and then what you'll do is when you, and it only takes 30 seconds. Okay. Just until it starts bubbling a little bit. Okay. Up. You don't want it to get brown. You don't want to burn it. You don't okay. want, you know, because they'll burn pretty quickly. Sure. So we'll get to uh, to plating at this point, I guess. Awesome. Cool. That's uh, my so favorite part of the show. <laughs> so we're gonna take, we'll take, we'll use a ladle on this one. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take the sauce that we made here, and we're going to make sure I'm underneath the mirror here. Right, the mirror. Yeah, the, the, the magic crew, mirror. The right? crew gets really upset if you get it under the mirror. We can't get it under see. That mirror. So we're gonna just spread it out over this whole dish just okay. because of the dish that it is. No, it was. I was imitating them yelling at us for not having another mirror. <laughs> Trust me. So we're going to move this stuff out of the way here. This stuff here. We'll I'll hold this for you like just in case you know. There we go. So we're going to do that. So now we're going to take a couple scallops. Yep. Mm. Those look awesome. Now, if, if you have the sweet, uh, the, uh, the, uh, sweet chili sauce glazed on top, uh -huh. it looks even better. I mean, sure. it looks fantastic at that point. So we're going to do some of these here. Okay. And then we're going to take the chili sauce. Right. And if you have a round plate at home and you want to look real fancy, throw this, so throw the citrus sauce in the center and then take a squeeze bottle. If you don't have a squeeze bottle, just take the bottle here uh -huh. and you're going to want to drizzle it like this and make it look just kind of like a uh, sunshine. Yeah. Or maybe like a, oh, I got a little sweet, yep. I had a piece of chili stuck in there. Yeah. So, there we go. So much, so much for that. Oh, there we go. Oh. Well. Can't go wrong. So much now. for that one, but it's still pretty good. That's right. It looks good. <laughs> You're gonna love it. So and that's don't worry, no one, no one will ever see that. <laughs> yeah, Your right. brothers will never know that that oh, happened. They're, on gonna TV. Be, they're, gonna, they're gonna kill me. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna let me. They're never gonna let me live that one down. Trust me. <laughs> so, yeah, and, uh, and that's our dish. Awesome. Well, there you go. I, and um, here's our dish, and I'm gonna try that. Please do. 
and um, get a sense of that. Oh, look at that. The scallops look like they're perfect. Mm. Mm. Oh, really good. Isn't it a great way mm. to, to cook scallops? So many times scallops don't really have a whole lot of flavor. Right. But this citrus sauce just really jumps out and gives you a nice well, orange, a little bit of a spicy flavor at the same time. You, and you get that, you get the spicy, you get that, but the, but you still taste the scallop. Right. You know, you're not covering up. Too many times you get scallops with a big thick sauce and you're just like, yeah. well, was that scallop or what? But yeah, this you only taste not. the sauce, right. Mm. And this one is just, it's just, I, we just we think it's just perfect. Oh, well, <laughs> so, me too. It works out all right. <laughs> scallops are done really well. Thank you. Not only you guys, because you know, everybody gets scared of seafood. Most people do. Yeah. Most people get scared of seafood. They say, "Oh no, I'm not. I don't want." Take your time. Read your books. Read the magazines. Read whatever. They'll tell you how to cook it. Don't be afraid of it. You know. So many things now you can cook under. Back in the day. Everything had to be cooked well done. Right. Great example is pork chops. Yep. Pork used to be ha used to have to be cooked through all the time mm. for the different reasons, yep. trigonosis and all sorts of yep. other type of microorganisms. Absolutely. Nowadays, they they grow them in a different. It's a whole it's new, all yeah, different. Exactly. So it's clean. And a lot yep. of times you just don't have those problems with that. So now you can theoretically cook pork chops medium rare. Right. And, and when you use the Yorkshire beef, like or, or, I'm sorry, Yorkshire mm -hmm. pork and uh, some of the higher end pork yep. that we use. You can definitely cook we, them up. We've got, in this store, we work, um, we, we can get a Chairman's Reserve that has marbling and oh, fat yeah. in it. We use Chairman Reserve at the steakhouse. The steaks, right. Well, I'll tell you, you know, everyone heard lean pork. You had to have lean pork, lean right. pork. Well, the lean, when you got the lean, there goes the flavor. It's just like chicken. Yeah, got exactly. Got no fat. You're not going to get dry. <laughs> exactly. That's so why we got to cover chicken up with so many different things to <laughs> get a little flavor. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, we've taken the flavor out of chicken. Let's put it back in with something yeah, else. Yeah, right. But, you know, that's the way But it goes. this is cool. Um, congratulations. My, thank you. Welcome thank to the much. neighborhood. Thank we you very much. Very glad to have you. Look forward to Bye. many nights out here with everyone. And doing well, I'd like to stuff. thank all of our customers for being so supportive. Nice. And they've been, they're, they're the reason why we're doing yep. well. And without yep. them, we have nothing. So thanks Great. again to all the people yeah. around the area. We really, really love it here. Awesome. Thank well, you. we're happy to have you in the neighborhood. And we are going to come right back after this because we got another special guest from St. Clair um, Community. No, St. Clair Jazz Society. Jazz Society. See, you're, I know you're no chef, I'm no host. We'll figure it out. But you make good scallops, so you got Thanks. that on me. Good Thanks. job. All right, Thank you. we'll be right back after this. She's with us because of them. They let us keep our daughter. St. John Providence Health System is a center of excellence for cancer care. Using a multidisciplinary approach, there's a whole team of people who are going to work together to care for you. Because lymphoma doesn't uh, have boundaries. I felt very comfortable that I could ask him anything. We use everything from robotic surgery to high-powered argon beams for our patients with gynecologic cancers. We will do everything we can medically, spiritually, and emotionally. They take care of your whole person, body, mind, and spirit. After doing research, I discovered that he was a world-renowned cancer specialist. He treated me like I was his daughter. You never want to hear want to hear the word cancer. But you need to know if you do. If you do, know that we never stop fighting for you. Visit stjohnprovidence.org. A passion for healing. Sometimes asking for help is the hardest thing you can do, but it is the most important step toward recovery. St. Clair County Community Mental Health provides publicly funded mental health services for adults and children with mental illnesses, developmental disabilities, substance use disorders, or serious emotional disturbances. Call the access line toll free at 888-225-4447, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. St. Clair County Community Mental Health, promoting opportunities for discovery and recovery. And welcome back. Really appreciate Bill coming down from Catch 22. Get down there. We've been eating the scallops during a break the whole time. It's really, it's, they're very good. <laughs> Guys are doing a great job. Matter of fact, he just told me his family been in the business about a hundred years. Guy started in Harlem back in the before the depression. His great grandfather. So great story. Great restaurant. Cool stuff to get down there. But now we are joined by Charlie Stevens. Charlie, thanks for coming down. Charlie, My you pleasure. are with the Jazz Society. Blue Water Jazz Society. Blue Water Jazz. Yes. Okay, tell us what you got going on. Well, July 29th, we are presenting the first uh, professional jazz 
program okay. uh, in, that we know of in the county. Uh, this is an outgrowth of Jazz on the Lake, which was the Bob Gibbs Memorial. Um, when Bob passed away in 06, we formed a nonprofit society okay. to keep the event going. Sure. It has about a 33 year history. Oh, no kidding. Of uh, providing jazz concerts for anybody that wanted to play and come and listen. Okay. And uh, the St. Clair, or not St. Clair, the Thomas Edison Inn was sold. Right. We lost our home. That's where we okay. were presenting these right. things. So what we did was uh, we formed a nonprofit with SC4, the okay. St. Clair County Saint Clair Community, Community, uh, yep. Community College, and uh, been working with Dave Getz and Dr. Uh -huh. Suzanne O'Brien and Sean Starkey and PR. Okay. And we have uh, a lineup that's going to go from two o'clock on uh, Sunday afternoon till nine o'clock at night. Oh no, kidding! Ending with uh, a an eighteen piece big band. Awesome. Which is not playing dance music of the forties. Okay. It's a jazz band. Oh, wow. So it's it's pretty high that's pressured. Cool. All right. Um, high intensity. If I wanted to go, where do I go? Do I sign up? Do I need to get tickets? No, nope. just... it's free. It's free. It's free. Okay. Um, there will be a beverage tent and okay. a food tent and some shelter tents just in case it's sunny or rainy. Okay. Um, and we have the opportunity if it really the weather turns foul, right. we have the opportunity to go into the fine okay. arts building. Okay. And, uh, but we're, it we're, it's not going to be. It's going to be great weather. It's going to be a great night so. for everybody. That's right. That's that's what we'll, we'll plan on. So great. But, uh, July, July 29th on the college campus. Okay. Um, which the stage will be backed up to Erie Street, okay. facing west. So the parking lot is available and it's free to. Okay. People are encouraged to bring their lawn chairs lawn or chairs blankets. And, okay. Uh, picnic baskets, perhaps. If they don't want to have some of the best barbecue around, sorry about that. <laughs> Sons Ministry is doing the barbecue oh, for okay. us. Oh, okay. Yes, Sons Ministry. Yes, That's... I do know the guys there. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. Great. And, great. Uh, great ministry. What else would you like to know? I think that's great. They can look at, there. you have a, a Facebook site? Yes. Okay. Uh, and Blue Water Jazz Society is on Facebook. Okay, so you've got that. So it's July 29th, right. down at the college yep. in Port Huron, yep. open to the public. It's free for everybody. Absolutely. And it's from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., right? Right, absolutely. That sounds like a lot of fun. It is. We hope so. Great. Charlie, thank you for coming out and kind of telling us what's going on up there in Port Huron. We'll make sure Pleasure. we get up there and enjoy it. So thanks for everything you do up there. Great. Well, thanks everyone for another great edition of At the Market, and thanks to Bill and the crew over at um, uh, Catch 22. We, the uh, Grace and Dave from uh, Neil's uh, Marketing, and we made the mozzarella and we got through it. And actually, people are eating it; it's not so bad, so it worked out good. But uh, a great thank you to our sponsors: Fifth Third Bank, um, St. John's Providence uh, Health um, Hospital down here and then the St. Clair Community Mental Health um, Hospital and Waste Management. So we really appreciate you uh, uh, sponsoring the show, bringing these cool events in the town. And Charlie, good luck next, uh, the 29th. So get down there for that. Have a great week, everybody. At the Market is videotaped before a live audience at Neiman's Family Market. At the Market is sponsored by Fifth Third Bank, the Curious Bank, St. John Providence River District Hospital, Waste Management, Think Green, St. Clair County Community Mental Health, and CTV, local community television for Marine City and St. Clair.